Kay here with a discussion of organic molecules. Um, so if you've ever eaten different types of foods, you might be familiar with the food pyramid or food groups. And um, just like your food comes from living things, we know that all living things are made of cells. Okay? Well, you might wonder what are those cells made out of? All cells are made out of something else called organic molecules. Organic molecules is what cells are comprised of. Now there's four types of main things that cells are made out of. We have carbohydrates, lipids, nucleic acids, and proteins. So we add all these things together to make up our cells. Um, if you look at a hamburger, you can notice what some of these things are. You're probably familiar with the word carbohydrate. Um, carbohydrates uh, are things like bread, wheat, um, pasta, potatoes, okay? Um, so the bone of a hamburger would be the carbs. Also, lettuce actually has carbs in it as well. Lipids are things like fat, so the grease that would be dripping off of the hamburger would be lipid. Um, nucleic acids is genetic information. So our food is made of living things, and those living things all contain DNA. And that DNA is their genetic information, or nucleic acid. And then proteins um, would be in the meat. Um, if we take a closer look at each of these four organic molecules, we'll see that they are actually made of things as well. Whatever they're made of, or their building block, is called a monomer. Okay, so monomer is just a fancy way of saying what something's made out of, or it's a building block. So for example, the wall of the school is made up of bricks. So the monomer, or the building block of the school, are bricks. All right, remember we have four organic molecules. We have carbohydrates, nucleic acids, proteins, and lipids. Let's start with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are also known as sugars. Um, the function of carbohydrates is that they're a quick source of energy, and they can also provide extra structure and support for cells. Um, if you were to run a marathon and you wanted to make sure you had a lot of energy beforehand, you would uh, carb load. You'd start to eat a lot of bagels and pasta and things like that before you run. You don't drink protein shakes in order to run fast. You use protein to build your muscles. That's one common misconception. So proteins don't give you a lot of energy. Carbs give you a lot of energy. So they are a very quick source of energy. Um, they're also used for structure and support. So things like the cell wall are made out of carbohydrates. The building block or the monomer of carbohydrates is called a monosaccharide. Okay, we put monosaccharides together to make carbohydrates. So a monosaccharide usually looks sort of like a stop sign or a ring. But when we put a bunch of the uh, stop signs or rings together, we make a carbohydrate. So this is one monosaccharide. This is four monosaccharides. So when we put them all together, we make a carbohydrate. Let's look at some examples of carbohydrates. Glucose is an example, cellulose, starch, and glycogen. Glucose is one of the main sources of energy for cells. Um, it gives them uh, quick energy. Cellulose is the sugar that's in the cell wall of plants. Remember, cell wall, cellulose. Uh, starch is one way that plants can store energy for a short period of time. Uh, glycogen is one way that animals can store energy for a short period of time. So starch is in plants, glycogen is in animals. One thing to remember or note is that many names of sugars or many names of carbohydrates end in os. So if you're asked a question on a test and you're not sure what it is, but it ends in os, it's probably a sugar or a carbohydrate. Now let's take a look, uh, now let's take a look at lipids. These are some of my favorite things to eat. These are fats, oils, and grease. Um, their function is to store energy for a long period of time. Um, and they can also be used to insulate things. The monomer or the building block of lipids is a fatty acid. Now, fatty acids don't necessarily always look like this. Um, this is called a triglyceride, and it has three fatty acid tails. Okay, so each of those squiggly, squiggly lines is a fatty acid. Um, our examples of lipids include fats, wax, oil, grease, and phospholipids. So if you're trying to remember what the function is of our lipids, just think about a fat bear in the winter. Why does it need all that fat? It needs that fat so that it can hibernate, so it doesn't have to eat while it's hibernating, and also so that it stays warm when it's cold outside. So lipids help to store energy for a long period of time, and they're also used to keep things warm for insulation. Now let's take a closer look at nucleic acids. 
The function of nucleic acids is to carry genetic information in cells, and we use that genetic information to make proteins. So if you don't have any uh, nucleic acids, you don't have your recipes to make proteins. So think of your nucleic acids as the recipe books for making proteins, your genetic information. And the reason that you look different from me is because we have different genetic information, and so we have different proteins in our body. The building block or the monomer of nucleic acids are nucleotides. So look, their name kind of looks the same. Nucleotide, nucleic acid. So the first part of their word looks alike, so you should never get this one wrong. Um, a nucleotide looks like a circle, a ring, and a rectangle. I call it a pool house driveway. The pool is the circle, um, the house is the ring, or the stop sign looking thing, and driveway is a rectangle. So pool house driveway. You have to know what those three things actually are. The pool is a phosphate, the house is a sugar, and the driveway is a nitrogen base. Um, you'll remember from previous lessons that our DNA looks kind of like a ladder that's been twisted up, um, a double helix. So here's our DNA ladder. If you look closely, you'll see it's made of a bunch of those pool house driveways. Pool house driveway, pool house driveway, pool house driveway, pool house driveway. Four on one side, four on the other side. So it's made up of eight pool house driveways, and your DNA is actually even longer than that. So all those pool house driveways go together to make DNA, and each individual pool house driveway is called a nucleotide. Uh, your two examples of nucleic acids are DNA and RNA, and you can remember that they're nucleic acids because nucleic acid starts with an N and an A, and look, D, N, A, and R, N, A. The N, A stands for nucleic acid. And our final organic molecule are proteins. Proteins do all sorts of different things inside of your body. Um, they do pretty much anything your body needs them to do. So they have a lot of different functions. Let's just focus on a few. They are used to build muscles. Um, they are used to speed up reactions. They help with cell transport. And they can send messages. Um, their building block is called an amino acid. Okay? Um, don't confuse that with nucleic acid. So we put amino acids together to make proteins. So Amino acids don't really look like rectangles, but let's pretend like they do for a second. So I put AA to abbreviate amino acid. So when we put a bunch of amino acids together, that makes a protein. So the monomer of proteins is an amino acid. Now there's a special kind of glue or a special kind of bond that hooks those amino acids together. And that special kind of bond is called a peptide bond. A peptide bond links together amino acids. Um, our examples of proteins are various. We have so many of them in our body, but let's focus on three. Um, enzymes are a special protein that speed up reactions. Insulin is a protein that helps keep your blood sugar stable. You may have heard of diabetics taking insulin um, to help lower their blood sugar. And then hemoglobin is a special protein that carries the oxygen in your blood. Um, so if you don't have enough hemoglobin, your body's going to be low on oxygen. So that's it for our organic molecules.